Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Blasphemous Blade build. And this specific Blasphemous Blade build is at level 100, and it's using Sore Seal, Godric's Great Rune, and Oath of Vengeance to reach all soft gaps while still being level 100. So in this case, you can basically, once you get to Morgoth, have everything you need to complete the rest of the game with without spending another level. And even then, level 100 is pretty high for Morgoth. So let's break down this build. I have 45 Vigor, boosted to 60 with Oath of Vengeance, Skadish Great Rune, and Stratagon Source Seal. And of course, 60 Vigor is the bigger soft cap. I have 14 Mind, boosted to 24 with Gouge Great Rune and Oath of Vengeance. This isn't really necessary for any facet of the build, however it is nice just to have more Mind since we will be relying on the weapon art. I have 8 Endurance, boosted to 23. It doesn't reach any soft caps, but it's enough so we're not fat rolling, which is good. I have 15 Strength boosted to 45 when I two-hand, and that's so I can wield the Grafted Blade Greatsword to use Oath of Vengeance to get the five stats in every stat. 45 isn't really a soft cap, but Blasphemous Blade does scale pretty well on strength, so we can use it to get a damage boost should we ever need to just use our light attacks or heavy attacks. We have 15 Dexterity, boosted to 25. Again, doesn't reach any soft caps, not particularly relevant, but Blasphemous Blade does scale off of it a bit, so it is nice to have. Then we have 70 Faith, boosted to 80. 80 is the final damage soft cap, and will give us the most damage from our Blasphemous Blade, Ash of War, which allows us to have very good survivability. Now, for the weapons. We have Blasphemous Blade, which is going to be our primary weapon. And then we have the Grafted Blade Greatsword, which is going to be used for applying that five stat points in each stat. But it is also a good weapon for stance breaking. And in certain NPC fights, like the Gideon fight, it is very good to trivialize and script the fight. Colossal Sword Kraushar 1, obviously being very good as a non reactable attack in some cases. Then we have the Urtree Seal. It is the best seal for 80 Faith, but we're not really casting any damage spells. You could if you wanted to, so that's why I included it. It also has zero weight, so that's just another bonus. For the Talismans, we have Radagon Source Seal, Shard of Alexander, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, and Ritual Shield Talisman. If you wanted to do this build and you didn't have Shard of Alexander or Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. You can use Ritual Sword Talisman and Warrior Jar's Shard. That will give you more damage, but you'll have a bit less survivability. Or you can do Ritual Sword Talisman or Warrior Jar's Shard and do a Dragon Crest Talisman. Then for armor, obviously we have the Omen Spark Mask boosting our strength even further. The Gold Bracelets the fingerprint armor altered, and the crucible greaves. That's going to give us 51 poise, which is pretty important in PvE. For the memory slots, we just have Golden Vow and Black Flame's protection. Golden Vow is going to increase our damage as well as give us more damage negation. And Black Flame protection is going to give us 35% physical damage negation, and that's going to give us around 65% damage negation, which is quite good. If you wanted to focus on damage, you could also use Flame Grab Me Strength to boost your fire damage. However, I felt the survivability was more important. And as you'll see, we're pretty tanky for being level 100. For the Crystal Tears, we have the Opaline Heart Tier, boosting our damage negation even further. And then we have the Flame Sharding Crack Tier, boosting our fire damage. As I've showed off in my Radagon Source Shield build, this build is very tanky and can output a lot of damage. And as you see for these clips, they are very good as well. So the buff routine is going to be using the Flask of Wondrous Physic, then Golden Vow, then Black Flames Protection, and then using Oath of Vengeance last, because that only lasts one minute. However, by that time, the boss should be dead, or very close to dead, where you don't need to reapply it. 